Hello. Our devotion for today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 23 through 35, and is entitled, Receiving and Giving Mercy. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant, as I had mercy on you? And in anger his master delivered him to the jailers, until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do every will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Is that the way it is in God's kingdom? Like a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants? The Jesus says that's the way it is. Of course, settling the accounts isn't the most important thing. God's kingdom is forgiveness, boundless forgiveness, that erases an enormous debt. But for that to happen, the debt has to come out in the open. The guilty party has to be aware of it. We have to be aware of it. For Jesus is talking here about us. I owe 10,000 talents. Well, in today's currency, that's actually several million dollars. More than I could pay or anyone I know could pay. How could I owe so much? By increasing my debt day after day. I should have lived in perfect love toward my heavenly Father, and toward my brothers and sisters here on earth. These were the most important things of all, the finest commandments, and I haven't kept them, not for one single day. At one time, maybe I thought that I could pay in full if I only had the time. However, I finally realized that it was hopeless And then only one thing remained, Jesus. That undeserved, unreasonable, all-encompassing forgiveness that sets me free. That's the way it is in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus says. But he adds one thing. The fortunate one who no longer has any debts runs into an acquaintance who owes him a very small amount of money, and now he acts in a worldly way. Now it's a matter of watching out for what is his. Using all legal means available, that's exactly what he does. And then, 
Once again, a demand is made upon him. He stands there with his enormous debt, and payment is demanded without mercy. You see, it's mercy itself that man has separated himself from. God has, in his boundless mercy, made forgiveness possible by paying off all of our debts through his son, Jesus. That inexhaustible forgiveness exists with him. With him, we can receive it without limits. However, it exists only with him. If we are in him, we have forgiveness. So true forgiveness without Jesus doesn't really exist. But if we live with Jesus, we can't take our fellow servant by the neck and make him pay for what he's done. Loving Jesus means forgiving others. Not wanting to forgive means not loving Jesus, not being with him, and not possessing his forgiveness. You see, it's either Jesus and forgiveness or neither of them. Let us pray. My Lord and Savior, you've forgiven us of everything. And you never tire of forgiving again and again. Now you want us to forgive from the heart. You know that we want to. However, you also know how hard it can be for us to forgive from the heart. Lord, help us to not say something to get revenge or make people pay for what they've done. Help us also to not think about things like this and not feel the desire to do them. And if we do, then let us immediately go, even with this sin, even with this sin to you, Lord. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.